Hey, welcome back. As you can see, we're not in the shop today. It is January 1st, 2021. And the next project we're going to tackle is renovating this house. It's a house that uh, my son and his fiance bought and they just bought it and we're going to renovate it before they move in. And um, it is a hundred years old plus on the main part of the house, a story and a half in the kitchen. And then there's an addition on the back that's probably around 25 years old. And so we are going to completely do this house over inside out, uh, roof siding, windows, doors, completely redo the interior walls, plumbing, cabinets, uh, wiring, the whole deal. So the plan will be to work on the house uh, as much as we can and also still sneak in a few woodworking, wood turning videos from the shop as often as I can. I'm still hoping to be able to do one a week and I know sometimes that might not be realistic, but there will be some video of one sort or another or more going up weekly. So I hope you'll uh, keep an eye on what's going on with this and follow the progress from start to finish. And I think you'll be surprised with how this all turns out. So this is standing on the driveway looking back down towards the main road. So it's the back corner of the house. So the story and a half part on the front and the 1212 pitch I'm pointing out right there now is the original house. It's a hundred year old part. And then just off here to the right hand side is the piece it was built on 20 or 25 years ago. You can see there's a chimney there. There was a wood stove in this house at one time, and that's going to be taken out, and um, that'll be fixed over when we do the roofing. And uh, one of the issues that we have is that there is a leak in the transition between the 1212 the roof over top of this kitchen and the piece in the addition. So what we're going to do is we are going to modify the roof slope right here, and we're actually going to change that pitch to a more gradual slope to get the valleys past the end of the gable wall. And this is the other side of the house, and you can see the tire up on the roof there where they've tried to patch that up, but uh, it's still buzzed back up and runs in there. And we can see some of that damage when we go inside. But there's a double door there that is going to go the uh, the floor joist right there. The elevation of the ground isn't good, and so the water runs in on it, and that floor joist is rotted. So we're going to change that, and that door is actually going to be replaced with a window. And the air conditioner will be taken out, and that other window is probably going to be made a little bit smaller as well. And when we change that roof line, there's a window that you can see just in behind the chimney in the upstairs. That's going to go away. There'll be a bathroom moved to the upstairs over in that corner. Uh, they're going to heat this with three ductless mini split heat pumps. We are going to change the elevation of the ground around the house as well so that it runs away from the house and not, not to it here. That'll eliminate that problem. And just working counterclockwise around the house, this is the other, the front corner. And the roof is actually it doesn't leak. It's actually not in bad shape other than how it looks. Uh, but because it looks this way, it's not, the roof can't be insured. And so we are going to have to change this as well. So there's a quick tour around the outside of the house. Now we'll just go inside and take a look at what we've got going on inside. All right, so this is the entrance door, which is on the newer part of the house. You just come into the entryway here. There's a, there's closets here some space and again everything inside of this house is going to be taken out and done over and you can see up here where the where there was the issue with the the valleys and the the roof leaking so straight in this is the laundry room utility room and again you can see that the there's some water damage in here but it's all superficial and we can fix that up it's on a rock wall so there's a hatch going down to the basement it's not an eight foot basement uh, there'll be nothing in the basement whatsoever uh, when we're finished and we're just going to insulate that up so it's good it's a nice sound rock wall so on the right side in the entryway this is just a, what's a bedroom and there you can see this is the door from the outside that we're going to take out and replace and again we're going to take the ceiling walls off this downsize that window and there was a walk-in closet in here and we're going to amalgamate part of this space into that laundry room and utility room to make it bigger. And then there's a bathroom back in here, which is a half bath right now. And we're not sure if we're adding a tub to this or what we're going to do exactly. But there are three bathrooms in this house right now. And we're probably going to put a doorway through here to have access to that bathroom so that the laundry room and utility room is kept separate. Then we go into the, the kitchen and dining room. So when you walk into this space, on the left side is the kitchen. And so we're gonna replace all these cabinets to the ceiling, like I say, flooring, the whole, the whole deal. Uh, the window that's over top of the, 
the kitchen sink and over the countertops. We're going to downsize that to something much smaller. And that gets a lot more wall space for cabinets. And we're going to change the built-in oven to a range so that they get back some counter space there. This is going to be changed into a window as well. There's lots of doors in this house and we're going to, going to make a few of the windows here. And this is where the dining room will be. And again, this is the bottom of the chimney. It's capped off right now, but that's all going to be coming out. And this will all be redone. And this is the entrance going into the living room. And we're kind of deciding what we're going to do here. So this is a load-bearing wall. It is the end of the story and a half gable end of the house. And so it does have a carrying beam over the top. And this little jutted out piece of wall, we may take that out and make the walkthrough space here, which gives them more usable floor space in the living room. So when you come into the living room, we're gonna redo those beams and open this up a little bit wider, I believe. And then this bow window we're gonna take out, put a regular window in, and I think we're gonna build a shelf unit um, in the bottom here. So again, this is a bloom frame house. There are no load bearing partitions except for the external walls. So we can, we will completely take every partition out of this house downstairs and upstairs and we'll start from scratch. This is the main level bathroom. So you see it's really long and narrow. So if we put a tub in the other bathroom, we'll be taking it out of here and this will be a powder room. And back in where the tub is, we'll, we'll bring in some space in from the living room and we'll bring some space in and add it to this little bedroom that's off to the left side here. And this is the small downstairs bedroom. And if we can get an extra three or four feet by 10 feet or so in here, that'll make a quite a bit more space in this little room. And this would eventually, I assume, be a kid's bedroom. So they like the staircase and they're gonna keep the staircase. Uh, it's gonna need to be cleaned up a little bit and we're gonna have to resheathe the walls around it. Uh, this doorway coming into here, we're gonna take that doorway out and open that up just a little bit because it's very restrictive there now. So going into the upstairs, let's say it's a story and a half. This is gonna be a master suite and a master bathroom only for right now. So it's around 20 by 25 uh, full dimension. And we are gonna make this one giant room with a bathroom. And so this is the corner over top of the kitchen. And you can see there's a hatch here. That's for access to the attic over top of the kitchen. And this is the window that I was talking about that's gonna be covered up when we change the pitch of the roof. And the bathroom will be in the here. And these additions will all be gone. And there's a closet here which we may or may not keep. And when we lay this out, if we do it right, if they need a third bed, bad bedroom, rather, we can put a third bedroom in this area. And it'll share the bathroom. And this is the upstairs bathroom now, which isn't so bad actually, but it's just in the middle. So we need to move it to one end so we can have a larger room. And this is the other upstairs bedroom. So lots of peek at the inside. Here's a little look on the outside. This is the south, pointing south on the property. And it's just swinging around to the west. Lots of fields, lots of wood in this, in this property and some apple trees. And it is a really nice piece of, piece of ground here. And um, good old solid house just needs some facelift. So I hope you uh, will stick around, watch us tear a few things apart over the next few weeks and put them all back together in the weeks following. Thanks for watching.